So today we will go up to Creed, okay? Not very long, but there's a lot in it. So the first thing that the server says is Barkimur Stamangalas, everyone stands up. We are, you know, going to enter into something very important. Then there are three sets of prayers that the, the priest prays. First one is called the Prumion. Second is the Husoyo. Third is the Sadaro. Prumion is the prayer of praise, thanksgiving, and adoration. Okay, Prumion praise. Praise, thanksgiving, and adoration. Husoyo is the prayer of absolution from sins. Not just for the living, but also for the departed. Now, the question comes up, if we have whosoever prayer during Mass, if we have an absolution prayer during Mass, then why do we need to go to confession? What is the difference between the, the absolution of whosoever and the absolution in uh, confession? Anybody know? If you know, raise your hand. Okay, I'll give you the answer. During the whosoever prayer, it is the venial sins that are forgiven. Lekhu paabangalana, whosoever prathaneda sametha, adhinula paabamodhinan libikinada. Kumba saratil, ghanamaya paabangalka. It is for the mortal sins that, especially in the confession, that you get absolution. Okay? So, whosoever prayer is for venial sins, confession is for mortal and venial sins. So then we have the sadaro, which is supplication. Sadaro, supplication. Supplication means you ask God for your needs. This is a time when, if you pay attention to what the, the priest is praying, he's asking for the needs of all the people. And it is also very much catechetical. Either you padipikinadini vendiyolari prathanayana. Pratiyagach perinal dhuvasangalil, ningal sadara ketal, alingil sradhya adhani kudutthal, ningal ke manasilagam valara theologically atulak aringal ana sadara ikya atta parayinad. The sadara teaches. It is not just a list of supplications to God, but sadara also teaches. So we have prumiyon husoyo sadara. What comes after that? What comes after the sadara? What is it? Louder. Vishwasa Pramada in Mumbai. Before that. Kids are like jumping way too much. It's a big part in between. Atu, Atu. Before the creed. Blessing of the censor. Thank you. Can somebody bring me the censor, please? Actually, I'll get it. Okay, it's not that far. Do we know the meaning of the censor? Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so we have four chains. First chain is four. God the Father. Second two chains are for God the Son. And the third chain is for? Fourth chain? God the Holy Spirit. Why does God the Father have one chain and God the Holy Spirit have one chain, but God the Son has two? Yes, it represents the humanity and divinity of Jesus. Jesus is fully human and fully divine. So the priest takes two chains. Now, the base of the Dubukuti represents earth. The top represents heaven. Okay, that's easy. The charcoal represents, what color is charcoal? What color is charcoal? Black. It represents the sinful humanity. Okay? And the fire on the charcoal is the love of God. It's the grace of God purifying that sinful humanity. Pabagaramaya, Paba Malin, Malima Samaya, Manishatate Sudhirikina, Kartavinda Snehom, Krabe Mana, Kari Lula, Akni. And the smoke that goes up is, you guys know this one. It is the incense, but what does it represent? Prayers. Prayers going from the earth to heaven. On the four chains, we have 12 bells representing 12 apostles. Very good. It also represents, where do we see 12 in the Old Testament? Tribes, 12 tribes of Israel, very good. And we have 72 links on each of the chains representing, not the Bible, that's 73. 
72, not the apostles, that's 12. Disciples, close. Announcers, very good. Announcers or evangelists. 70, remember, 72 uh, announcers were sent forth in pairs by Jesus. These are the 72. Very good, excellent. Now, what happens after the, oh, sorry. So we have the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Where do we see God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit clearly for the first time in the Bible? Baptism, right? So the blessing of the censor also reminds us of the baptism of Jesus Christ where the Trinity was clearly present. After the blessing of the censor, what happens? Right after the blessing, what happens? Altar servers. Before creed. Washing of hands. Why does the priest wash hands before, uh, uh, after the blessing of the censor? Why? Well, for one thing, the priest's hands got dirty from touching the Dukuti. And But the second and more symbolic thing is what? Where do we see Jesus washing? Feet of the apostles, where? Last Supper. Where was the Last Supper held? Where? In the upper room, in the cenacle, right? In the upper room. Okay, so the priest washes his hands, not only to purify his hands, but also to symbolize the washing of the feet of the apostles. Then what happens? Creed, thank you. Creed, which is interestingly enough, is not a prayer. Vishwasa Pramana Vari Prarthana Yalla. It is a proclamation of faith. Okay? Why do we proclaim the faith in between all these prayers? Vishwasa Pramana Namal Chuali. It's very important to say that we have Vishwasa Pramana Namal Chuali. Yes, Vishwasatha Yeti Parayinu, you uh, proclaim your faith in one voice, as one community. Because again, something important is going to start soon. During the Vishwasa Pramanam, the server with the Dubukuti does something which he does not do at any point of the Mass, at any other point of the Mass. What does the server with the sensor do? He goes to the end. What is he doing? What is he supposed to be doing? Sanctifying the people like Aaron did and also? Yes. It is a time when the unbaptized have to leave. Padaya Kramo and Sericha, E. Vishwasa Pramath in the Sametha, Mamudisa Suirikatavar, Erangipona. Mamusa Suirikatari Matramala, Pishaj Badirim, Erangipona. Okay? So during this time, the unbaptized and those who were believed to be possessed by the devil have to leave. Because from now onwards, what's going to follow is only for the faithful community. And that's why we proclaim the creed. We profess our faith together in one voice as a community. Okay. After the server goes from the Madbaha through the Kastruma, through the Haikala and toward the Mandalam, he comes back. And he stands at the foot of the altar, at the foot of the sanctuary. Have you guys seen how he stands? How is his hands? Yes, he's holding his hands like this with the Dubukiti across, right? Why? Because he's bringing all your prayers and petitions with him, and when he comes up for peace, he gives it over to the altar. Ningala Pratanigal of Etrigal Ella, E. Sisrushagan, and the Kail Bahichuan de Verno, Samathana Sisrushagan Sametha, and Alta Rail Parimil Pigan. That's the meaning of that. Do the servers know what they're doing? Servers would take the, uh, the incense. Do you guys know this is what you are supposed to be doing? Well, now you do. Okay. Now, during the time of Yaji Kendam Samaveda, see the time of petition. The priest does a very small thing. 
what does he do? It's a very small thing that he does, but it signifies something very important. What does the priest do? Especially the second stanza of See the Time of Petition when we sing it. What is the second stanza in English? How does it start? Feet of the priest on high steps. So the priest goes from the ground, he goes up a step, symbolizing what? The upper room. The upper room. Jesus entering into the upper room to celebrate the Last Supper. After that, we begin the anaphora, which we'll talk about uh, next week. 